Back for another Money Monday with our certified financial planner, Peter Fraser. Good morning. Welcome back. Hi, Rob. Welcome back to you. Well, it's great to hear from you. So the theme for this morning is um, Peter's lessons learned, advice that old Peter would give to young Peter. I, I, love, I love it. I love it. There you go. Well, I was provoked by a good column I read by Peter Hodgson, Rob, in the Financial Post, and it did get me thinking about um, this very area that you and I uh, spend a few minutes in every week and uh, some of the wins and losses that we all experience. So a little bit of fun this morning, playing true disclosure about mistakes I've made, lessons I've learned along the way. And um, I try to make it a practice, like probably most people, to learn something when it comes to mistakes that I make. And uh, a great phrase I heard recently goes like this. It says, in life, there's no failure, there's feedback. And uh, I think that's a good outlook on mistakes and what they can teach us. So here are a few of mine and some of the lessons that I've learned along the way. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Stock market crashes, they're actually a part of life. And uh, so if panic can actually be a potential buying opportunity. I know we hear this, but I've had to learn that when markets fall and sometimes by a lot, and they have dozens of times in my career, but going the other way against panic sellers can actually be a pretty good way to make money. So that's one lesson. Another one that I learned was not to sell off my winners too early. It was a mistake that I made selling investments as soon as they made a profit. And I was so excited to see that I made some gains. I want to lock them in before they turn to losses. So I learned that a winning streak can just mean that others also like my pick and that my positive thesis for liking it in the first place is actually being validated sometimes by hundreds, maybe even thousands of other like-minded investors. So I don't sell just because something is up. Okay. I also, okay. Le- yeah, I also learned that the investment path I choose actually matters. And maybe trading works for some. I did try that approach. I made some money. I lost some money. Not wanting to miss out on those tempting hot tips. But reducing investment risk by choosing and sticking with quality and, yes, passive long-term strategies, that actually turned out to serve me well. And I've learned that this really does matter when a financial plan has return expectations that depend on slow and steady winning the race. I'd also tell my younger self to work with someone sooner. Two heads are better than one. Um, Obviously things like blind spots and biases, Rob, we all have these, they do affect us. But a group think, especially around major life goals, that incorporates other people's broad expertise, it actually results in better outcomes and more of our financial plan objectives succeeding. So the Lone Ranger thing, I think, is a lesson we all come to learn eventually. And I'd also say to a younger Peter, always, always, always have an emergency fund. And that's basically something dull and boring, like several months of home expenses salted away. I call it a tailwind with my wife, but there are times when I was faced with surprise expenses that I just didn't have the money to cover. And scrambling is not a sound financial strategy. So it's critical to have that fund because unexpected costs happen to all of us at all phases of life. And you wanna be prepared for them so that they don't you know, cause outsized stress and derail your plan. And the last thing I'd say is just this. If you're thinking of going cheap on insurance, don't. It turns out that not my portfolio, but my income producing capacity is my very biggest asset. And skimping on insurance isn't worth the risk. If I look at things like responsibly protecting the income that has to fund the plan. And when you look at life's crises like catastrophic illness, a care need, disability or dying, as meaningful as GoFundMe campaigns are, they're not a plan. So okay. premiums, I've learned, are just kind of a small contribution to avoid catastrophic financial loss when something unexpectedly goes wrong. 
I guess what we're saying here is that experience is, is really the secret sauce to great portfolio and financial plan outcomes. You know, we don't have to all set out in life to make the mistakes, each and every one of them ourselves. We, we can learn from other people's experiences, and, and that really does make a difference. So that's what I wanted to share this morning with you, Rob. And, well, it's very uh, good. It, you know, it's very timely, Peter, because, you know, another tax filing season uh, is about to... Yeah to come and go and maybe for a lot of people they've been you know scrambling and this has been over the last year it's been probably for many many people maybe the most challenging financial period of of their entire lives so that's such uh, that's such great advice and that's why we love having uh peter as part of our monday team for money monday he's uh he's 34 years experience building financial plans for families, for small businesses, for for individuals, risk management solutions, uh, tax, legal professionals, all part of the team. Uh, for more, Peter Fraser at Alterna.ca would be the best way, I think, to get in touch with you, Peter. So That's right, Peter Fraser dot Alterna.ca. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, we'll talk soon, Peter. Thank you. Peter Fraser at Alterna.ca. That's Money Monday. Uh, he's with Alterna.